morning, namaste. We're gonna start a morning vinyasa routine. So come to your mat and sit on your knees, getting ready. Bring the hands on the legs. Try to elongate the spine. Relax the shoulders. Relax the jaw. Relaxing all the facial muscles. Bringing yourself inwards. Engaging Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. And then starting the soft sound of Ujjayi breath. Step one foot forward, other foot forward. 
Inhale, slide the hands up the shin bones, pull the belly in, try to make a nice straight spine. Breathing here, and then exhale, folding over. Inhale, opening the arms as you come all the way up to stand. Exhale, arms to the sides. Inhale, open the palms, raise up the arms. Exhale, diving over the legs as you pull the lower belly in. Relax the back of the neck. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, place the hands and either step or gently hop back, finding a plank pose. Keep pressing the heels away as you slowly lower down into chaturanga and then coming all the way down to the floor. Change the feet, press all 10 toes into the floor, bring the hands beside the waist, roll open the shoulders, lift the chest for a cobra pose. Keep the chin a little bit tucked in, turn the toes, exhale, downward facing. Finding your steady gazing point, steady the gaze, <clears throat> steady the body, and listen to your breathing. forward, bend the knees, stepping the opposite foot forward this time, inhale, slide the hands up the legs, exhale, releasing over the legs, inhale, opening the arms as you come all the way up, exhale, arms to the sides, and again, inhale to raise the arms, exhale, diving forward, strong legs, skin of the neck reaching up towards the ceiling. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or lightly hop back. Come into your plank, lower to chaturanga, and either cobra or coming into upward facing dog position. Exhale, downward facing. One. Two. four, and five. Bend the knees, either stepping or lightly hopping forward. Open the chest on arrival. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, arms down. One more. Inhaling, move with the breath. Exhaling, smooth breathing. Inhaling, exhaling, smooth movements. Inhale, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling, exhaling, one. Inhaling, exhaling, two. Lift your right leg up, 
feeling like you're keeping the two hip bones level, making this hollow between those two hip bones. Bring your right knee close to the chest. Slide the weight forward so you're more into the hands, rounding the upper back slightly. Press the left heel away. And then bring your right foot to the thumb. Turn the back foot on the floor at an angle. Start to straighten the front knee. Slide your fingertips back so they're about level with your shoulders. And then open the chest fully. Feel like you're getting a nice long spine. Lower abdominals pulling in. Lifting the kneecap of, that, of both legs. Bring your right arm behind you. Left arm forward. Feel like you're level with the floor. And then bring the left hand down on the outside of that front leg as you lift the right arm up for a version of Pravrika Trikonasana. If you can, you're gazing up. Then, as you lower the right hand, pick up the left hand, bend that front knee, inhale, bring the arms up. Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, both hands down to the floor, lean into the hands, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for a couple breaths. Then pick up the heels, Press into the hands, reach the sitting bones both towards each other and towards the wall behind you. Start to pick up your left leg from the upper inner thigh, keeping the hip level. Pull your left knee close to the chest and then start to bring your weight forward, doing a little bit of like this rounded plank and Push the right heel firmly away from you. Place the foot near that front thumb. Turn the back foot on the floor at an angle. Start to straighten the front knee, sliding the fingertips back behind you. Trying to pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Open the chest here. And then either the hand can stay on the inside of the foot or it comes to the outside of that foot. And then start to rotate the spine. So keeping the hips, trying to keep the hips level and lifting the left arm up. And as you lower the left hand, you pick up the right hand, bend that front knee, inhale, raise the arms, Virabhadrasana A.
Trying to make a nice long neck, a nice long spine. Press into the feet. Inhale, coming up. Virabhadrasana B. Gazing to those right fingertips. Bring the left arm down the back leg and reverse warrior. And then bring your right arm, palm up in front of you. Start to slide over that right side. Bring that right arm behind you. Seeing if you can bind behind, opening the chest to the side. Pulling the upper inner thighs towards one another to engage Mula Bandha. Exhale, release the hands, press into the floor, step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Turn your right heel in at an angle. Pull your left foot so it's centered between the hands. Left fingertips on the outside of that foot. Right arm down the back leg. Palm up. And then slide the arm over the ear. And pressing firmly into the feet. Inhale, coming up. Virabhadrasana B, gazing to those front fingertips, trying to make a straight spine perpendicular from the floor. Right arm slides down the back leg, left arm coming over the ear, elongating the whole left side of the torso, making sure that front knee stays pointing towards that front, those front toes. And bring the arm, palm up, Start to shift your whole side body over that leg, reaching under and seeing if you can bind. And release the hands, both hands to the floor, step back, lower down. Inhale, open the chest, gaze to the nose. Exhale, over the toes, breathing here. One, two,
Start to bend that knee. You're going to bring the two knees level with one another, holding your foot, and then pick up your two hip bones. So like the hip bones are reaching up towards the ceiling, upper buttocks sliding down towards the floor. From there, start to reach the knee a little bit behind you, but you're kind of pulling, so the foot is pulling um, away and you're holding on with your hand. Reach the right arm up, lift the sternum, trying to keep the two hips level. And then release the knee, release the foot to the floor. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, over the legs. Relax the back of the neck. Inhale, lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, step or hop, gently back, chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then you're gonna lean forward into a plank. Slowly, 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 coming down to chaturanga and slowly down to the floor. Come up onto the forearms. You're gonna tuck your toes under and then press the heels firmly away so that the knees, they don't touch the floor when you do this. So your heels are pushing away. Then your hands are in this sphinx position and then you pull with your arms back like this, like I'm gonna go back towards my feet. And as I do so, then it elongates the spine. I feel my belly lengthening, my chest reaching forward. And then roll the shoulder blades so you feel like your shoulder blades are coming off the back, coming through the front of the body. the toes, press into the hands, and working your way into this puppy position, pulling up the palms from the floor so you're only on the fingertips, reaching the sitting bones towards the heels, ears between the upper arms, and then walk your fingertips a little bit further forward, feel that nice elongation through the whole back body, Keep the two sitting bones trying to reach towards each other and then place the palms on the floor. And then untucking the toes, pointing the toes, sliding the hands back alongside the body. You can keep the knees a little bit apart or you know, even wider if that's more comfortable for you. You could also put a bolster, bolster between the knees and then just let go here. Let go in the child's pose. If it's comfortable, you can kind of shake a little bit side to side.
the day. Have a good one.